Next, oh, we got Brady versus Manning. Greatest robbery in NFL history. Now, after watching the Tom Brady documentary, I figured out that Brady and Manning had a robbery. I never knew that. I never knew that. So, this is a perfect time to check out the video. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want more uh, videos like this, hit the like button, hit that sub button. Also, too, we are doing legend reactions. Now, Peyton Manning, even though he might technically might not be better than Tom Brady, Peyton Manning still was a GOAT as well. He was a GOAT in his own self. Maybe it was the team he was on. I don't know. But he still was a GOAT. So... You still check him out as well. You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments uh, who else y'all want me to react to. I got you. So, hey. Let's no have it. Like Brady versus Manning, the two legendary quarterbacks who overwhelmed NFL defenses with their extraordinary passing proficiency and relentless competitive spirit went head to head 17 times. Wow. But their epic clashes were so much more than just wins and losses. Brady versus Manning was a damn near two decade long battle to secure the ultimate legacy as the greatest to ever play the position. And it's crazy to think that their rivalry ever became what it did, considering when Brady and Manning entered the league. Their careers were on very different paths. Peyton Manning was drafted number one overall in the 98 draft. The Indianapolis Colts select quarterback, University of Tennessee, Peyton Manning. Instantly becoming the face of the Indianapolis Colts, a prodigy destined for greatness. Then there's Tom Brady, a sixth round draft pick out of Michigan, who started as the Patriots' fourth string quarterback with no indication he might ever become a starting play caller let alone a Super Bowl MVP. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to make that team. <laughs> right. Don't worry about that. That's but crazy. in 2001, fate intervened. A sudden injury to New England quarterback Drew Bledsoe catapulted the inexperience. Oh, was that Darrell Revis? Darrell Revis might have had been in the league around this time. New I think England that is Revis. Quarterback Drew Bledsoe. That might be the Revis. So catapulted the inexperienced Brady into the spotlight. In any unforeseen circumstances, Tom will be the quarterback. Faced with making his first career start against none other than Peyton Manning and the undefeated Colts, it was a turning point that changed the course of the Patriots franchise forever. I remember running out there on the field. You came up right to me. You said, hey, Tom, Peyton Manning. I was like, no. <laughs> Even though the Pats were huge underdogs, the first showdown between the two future greats saw New England demolish the Colts, 44-13. First start for Dang. Tom Brady, first win the for Tom Brady. The first game? With two of Peyton's three interceptions returned for touchdowns, Brady took a sack on his first two play. Pick sixes? But that wouldn't be a sign of things to come. Instead, he threw for 168 yards and, more importantly, kept the turnovers to zero showing Brady might make an okay seat filler until Bledsoe's return. Three weeks later, the battlefield shifted from Foxborough to Indy, but the outcome stayed the same, with New England powering past Manning and the Colts 38-17. Patriot Nation was over the moon with how their young substitute QB appeared to step up his game, showing subtle hints of his eventual mastery of Belichick's intricate playbook as Brady went 200 yards plus through the air, along with three touchdowns. The Colts finished 6-10. And quickly showed Jim Mora the door. You kidding me? Playoffs? Yeah, that guy. But there was no kidding around about New England's playoff run. Brady, now officially the starter, caught lightning in a bottle, knocking off the Raiders and Steelers on his way to a Super Bowl 36 showdown against Kurt Warner and the 14 point favorite, St. Louis Rams. But the greatest show on turf couldn't live up to the hype as the Patriots showed up and showed out Ooh. with a 2017 win to secure their first Super Bowl title. In 2003, Manning lost to the Pats again, but in a more respectable fashion. This time with New England just squeaking out the win, thanks to a huge goal line stand in the final minutes of their oh, yeah. Week 13 matchup against Indy. But enough with the regular season matchups, the playoffs. Playoffs? That's where really <laughs> In their fourth matchup, the Sheriff and the Golden Boys squared off in the 2003 AFC Championship with Super Bowl 38 on the line. Manning had been killing it throughout these playoffs, throwing eight touchdowns with zero interceptions in wins over Denver and Kansas City, and looked to continue the throwing barrage in snowy Foxborough. And he did just that, throwing all over Gillette. The only problem? He was throwing to the wrong team. <laughs> Stop it. The wrong team. No. Did just that, throwing I didn't know Peyton Manning be throwing picks. 
Maybe he don't throw picks often, but just, I don't know. He didn't have that clutch factor, yo. Now I think about it. Has Payman ever even won a Super Bowl? I know his brother won. Dang, I don't know. Peyton, what's up, bro? Is bro a catfish? He might be a catfish, yo. He do be at the line making a trillion adjustments. Imagine your quarterback at the line taking an hour to snap the ball. Damn near like he trying to solve an algebraic question. All these goddamn audibles. Then... He throw a pick six. <laughs> when he stopped, he finally stopped the ball. He throw a pick six. <laughs> but you know how mad I would be. Bro? To continue the throwing barrage <laughs> in snowy no. Foxborough, and he did just that, throwing all over Gillette. The only problem, he was throwing to the wrong team. Many on the roll, throws it. Ty Law picks it off. Ty sure, Law. The law is usually on the sheriff's side, but hey, one hand. No, no, no. First, one handed. The problem, he was throwing to the Ty wrong. Ty Law. I, I have, I've heard of Ty Law from Madden, so he must be a goat. You know what I mean? Um, team. So, yeah. Many on the roll throws it. Ty Law picks it off. Sure, the law is usually on the sheriff's side, but hey, dude, cornerback Ty Law is not on your team. A heavy rush at all. Yo. Far sideline, short picked off. Ty Law. Again? In 38, TB12 went off against the Panthers, completing 32 passes, the most in Super Bowl history, and throwing for 354 yards, the fifth most in Super Bowl history. Sure, the most talked about moment was Justin Timberlake exposing Janet Jackson's oh, yeah. stylishly pierced nipple. But yeah. with Brady winning, I ain't gonna lie. Side, side question. I mean, side note. Janet Jackson was really bad as hell. Like, I didn't know how cute Janet Jackson was. Because I told y'all, bro. I didn't watch movies either. Not only did I not watch sports, I didn't, I didn't watch movies. So, you know, I heard of Janet Jackson just because of the simple fact that she's Michael Jackson's uh, brother or sister. But when I watched Poetic Justice and I seen Janet Jackson in that in that movie, oh, my God, I fell in love, bro. I fell in love. I fell in love, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. But... It's tough right here. Janet Jackson's stylishly pierced nipple, but with Brady winning his second Super Bowl MVP and then beating the Colts in the 04 season opener. And Vanderjack cannot make it. Vanderjack. At this point, just like Janet's nipple, Peyton Manning looks completely <laughs> exposed. Now sitting at 0 yeah, 5 against Brady yeah. and the Patriots. Yeah. Sorry. Did we yeah. say five losses? Let's jump to six straight as the Horseshoes wrapped their season just like it started with a loss in Foxborough as Damn. Brady tattooed an embarrassing 20 to three playoff loss onto the ample sized forehead of one Peyton Manning. For Brady, it was back to the Super Bowl. For Manning, it was back to another disappointing offseason, this time with a growing reputation as a playoff choke artist. Oh. Brady won his third Lombardi trophy after handing third a 41-33 loss in Super Bowl 39. The win put Brady's playoff record at an astonishing 9-0 undefeated streak, a first for any NFL quarterback, and a mark no quarterback will likely ever match. By 2005, Manning was a two-time league MVP with a laser rocket arm. And statistically, the NFL's best quarterback. But heading into their week nine matchup against New England, Indy clearly needed a new game plan. And Tony Dungy had just that, believing the key to finally pulling one over Brady and company was to do what Indy hadn't done in any of their previous six matchups, score first. Peyton and the Colts stuck to the plan firing out from the jump with a 48-yard missile to Marvin Harrison before scoring a okay. quick six. Manning threw for over 300 yards with three touchdowns and even scrambled for an 18-yard gain on a oh, critical no. third down. Manning running for first downs? Right. It was different, but fitting, as the rivalry finally took a different direction, right. with Peyton snagging his first career win over his arch rival 40-21. Now, it was the Colts riding a wave of momentum into their annual showdown with the Pats. Not only were they fresh off their win from last season, but in 2006, Indy rolled in with an undefeated 9-0 record. Manning once again struck first, scrambling to avoid a sack before tossing a 44-yard dart to Marvin Harrison. This set up the what first of two TDs to Harrison, the second being an incredible one-handed grab to help oh. Indy take the win 27-20. Brady's performance was Bro, not only you know, his... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now that I see, I'm really peeping game, Tom Brady. Tom Brady be, 
He really emotional. Eh? He kind of sensitive, bro. I ain't gonna lie. He giving, he giving me them sensitive vibes, bro. Because when Tom Brady was winning, I remember watching in the documentary. When Tom Brady was winning the first couple years, they was talking after the game. Tom Brady walked up to Peyton Manning and they talked for at least like a minute. Now when he lose, is this is twice in a row. He lose, he just shake his hand and walk away. Yo, when Peyton Manning was losing, he gave you a full conversation. But now when you lose, you want to give me a high and buy? He was, what's up? What's up? Come on, Tom Brady. He grabbed to help Indy take look at the win. Twenty-seven. Bro, looking at, he ain't looking in his eyes. Not only his worst <laughs> in the seventeen-game series with Manning, but wow, his bro. zero touchdown or interception performance is one of Brady's worst games in his twenty-one-year career. But despite Whoa. Indy taking two in a row, when it came to the playoffs, playoffs, New England was sitting pretty as the AFC's top seed. Fans assumed the Patriots would rout the Colts in the 2006 AFC title game, especially after taking an early double-digit lead. Nice. But the Colts didn't crumble. Instead, the Sheriff threw for 349 yards to erase a 21-3 deficit and engineered the greatest comeback in AFC Saturday. championship history, outdueling Brady in a 38-34 win. Finally, it was Manning's turn to step onto sports' grandest stage, punching his ticket to Super Bowl 41 against the Bears in Miami. It was the first Super Bowl played in rainy conditions, but that didn't slow down Chicago's yeah. Devin Hester, who took the opening kick 92 yards to the house for the quickest score in Super Bowl history. But playing no, catch-up was nothing see that new for Manning and the Colts. Down 14-6 to six in the first quarter was, as the large Spanish-speaking population in Miami might say, nada. Manning flipped the script and started raining down points to outscore Chicago in the last three quarters, 23-3. to three. The Colts were victorious, and just like Brady in Dang, his first Super Bowl, Championship? I didn't know that. The game's MVP. Wow. In 2007, okay, it was a battle of the undefeated as the 8-0 Patriots locked up with the 7-0 Colts in a game they called the biggest regular season showdown in NFL history. Randy? The defending champs beat Brady in the previous hey, three I just, I just know it's Randy. Like, I can just look. Regular this is how he caught the ball and turned around. I'm like, yep, oh, that's Randy Moss. NFL history. The defending you know Randy champs Moss beat Randy Brady Moss. in the previous three matchups, giving Manning a golden opportunity to nudge the rivalry in his favor. But Brady had other plans, including an incredible 55-yard bomb to Randy yep. Moss in the fourth yep, quarter, see followed up by a three-yard <laughs> TD strike to old reliable Wes Welker <laughs> to keep the Patriots within three. Yo. You remember Wes Welker, right? The yeah, 5'9 Patriots receiver who would later ditch Brady to join Peyton in Denver? But Mr. Dependable is perhaps best known for his string of Depends adult diaper commercials. So you are all wearing new Depend Real Fit briefs currently. Yeah, it's almost like silk. And I hope he was wearing a pair of those diapers in 2007, because Welker very well might have shit his pants with excitement when the scoreboard hit double zero, as Brady and the Patriots' yeah. undefeated streak streaked on, following a 24-20 win over Manning and the Colts. TB12 and the Pats continued their winning ways, finishing up 16-0 and becoming the first team to complete a perfect regular season since the 72 Dolphins. They carried their undefeated streak into Super Bowl 42, where Brady not only competed for a fourth Super Bowl title in seven years, but looked to become the first quarterback in NFL history to lead his team to a perfect 19-0 record. But standing in the way of perfection, who else but Manning? No, not Peyton Manning, but younger brother Eli Manning and the 12-point underdog New York Giants. The low-scoring game featured just one lonely Tom Brady touchdown that put the Pats up late in the fourth, but teed up possibly the most astonishing game-winning drive in Super Bowl history. You know the one. This ball's thrown, and Tyree just goes up for it like a basketball player. Harrison trying to knock it down. Eli's touchdown pass four plays later slammed the door on Brady. Brady's fourth Lombardi and secured back-to-back -back Super Bowl wins for the Manning brothers. In 2008, the Brady Manning game was put on ice after. And actually, Brady's I seen a video. We literally just seen it. They said that Giants team that won was the worst team ever to win a Super Bowl. So we definitely gotta check that video out because I I, I want to see that. Like, they was the worst team. Now I think about it, who was even on his team. Probably only I say like what the running back Tiki Barber was Tiki Barber on the Giants. 
Or they have, I don't know, bro. The I Manning don't know who they have on their team. In 2008, the Brady Manning game was put on ice after Brady suffered a devastating knee injury. But in 2009, Brady and Manning were back at it for their 11th head to head, featuring a combined 700 yards through the air and seven touchdowns. The Pats were up by six Mighty with two minutes left, but in a head scratcher of a call, New England went for it on fourth and one from their own 28 and failed to convert, giving Manning a short field to work with in just a one possession game. The Ray Air Belichick blunder allowed Peyton to sling one to Reggie Wayne for the go-ahead touchdown and complete yet another come-from-behind fourth-quarter victory over New England. The game marked the Colts' 18th consecutive regular season win and a flawless 9-0 on the season, eventually propelling Indy to their second Super Bowl in four seasons. Super Bowl 44 was a bit of a car crash for the Colts after giving up an early 10-point lead before falling victim to the Saints' surprise onside kick to start the third quarter. <laughs> they start. They said they taking this out, nah. You can't do this no more. But in 2010, when Manning faced the duo TB and BB, it would be his last as a Colt. What? And just like the last time they walked into battle, Manning lit up the scoreboard with 396 yards passing and four touchdowns. Damn. And just like in 2009, the Colts trailed in the fourth, marching downfield with an eye on the end zone. Total deja vu, right? Not this time. Peyton threw a pick with under a minute to go as New England's He's team always dropped the hammer picks. on the four-time MVP's potential comeback. Following Peyton's 12th season in the league, the tread on the tire of the veteran QB was beginning to show some wear, the most glaring being severe soreness in his neck. Off-season surgery alleviated some of the pain, but by late summer, Manning struggled with his throwing motion. A disappointing MRI made it clear that Peyton needed a spinal fusion, which would keep him off the field for the entire 2011 season. With Manning on the shelf, the Colts went from a 10-6 playoff team to suddenly having an NFL worst 2-14 record that secured the number one overall pick in the following year's draft. Mm. And with a potential generational-type quarterback in Andrew this Luck sitting at the top of the draft board, the Indianapolis Colts select Andrew Luck. Quarterback Stanford. It became obvious to all Manning's time in Indy was over. In 2012, the greatest player in franchise history jumped from one horse team to another, oh, leading yeah, the Colts the for the yeah, Denver so Broncos. Yeah. But before diving back into Brady versus Manning, it's worth mentioning that without Peyton in their way, Brady and the Patriots cruised to their fifth Super Bowl, yet once again lost it to Peyton's brother, Eli. Are and you to cement like just how much the Manning name continued to play wow, Brady and the crazy. Patriots, Super Bowl 46's biggest play was a clutch throw from Manning to Manningham. You can't make this stuff up. No. Peyton's first First game against Brady as a Bronco fell short of the usual Brady Manning gold standard game. New England jumped out to a 31 7 lead, but Manning fought back, airing it out for 337 yards and three touchdowns, with no signs of lingering effects from his spinal fusion. Yet it still wasn't enough as Peyton took the L, bringing the series score to Brady 9, Manning 4. Now, the 14th round of the Brady versus Manning saga was an instant classic and the only one of the 17 to go to overtime. But by halftime, no one was thinking about OT as Denver hit the locker room up 24 0. The vibe around Gillette was about as comfortable as a Bill Belichick press conference. But in typical Brady fashion, he turned it around in the third with multiple scores, including one to Rob Gronkowski. And suddenly, it was 24-21. A costly Manning interception kicked off the fourth, allowing New England to snatch the lead until Demarius Thomas pulled in an 11-yard TD pass from Manning to knot it up and head to overtime. A muffed punt by Denver set up New England for a chip shot kick to seal the deal culmination of a 344-yard, three-touchdown performance from Brady to overcome an insane 24-0 deficit. And just eight weeks later, Brady and Manning were back at it in their third AFC Championship with a Super Bowl 48 slot on the line. By now, Manning played Brady enough to realize that the best defense against him was to keep Brady off the field. This That's meant nice. Denver coming in with long, meticulous drives, which Manning orchestrated to perfection. Peyton dialed down the no-huddle Omaha, Omaha, hurry-up offense Omaha, Omaha, Omaha. that helped him scorch the NFL record book for most touchdowns and yards during the 2013 season. Instead, Peyton led a pair of long 93 and 80 yard touchdown drives, each lasting more than seven minutes. Dang. All part of a game plan that saw Peyton's offense hold the ball for over half the contest. And it worked with Peyton's Broncos outplaying I mean, and outsmarting Brady's Patriots squad 26-16.
but Super Bowl 48 against the Seahawks would not be one for the Manning family scrapbook. On Denver's very first play, Broncos center Manny Ramirez oh snapped the ball God. before Peyton was ready. Yeah. The ball flew into the end zone for a safety, giving Seattle an early two-point lead. Seattle's score just 12 seconds in was the quickest in Super Bowl history, surpassing Devin Hester's kickoff oh. return seven years earlier. Well, like but unlike 2006, yes, Peyton bro. could not overcome the early score as Denver was blown out 43 yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm seeing a, the pattern now, yo. Peyton Manning be selling some shit. Bro will sell, bro. We gotta we gotta check out his documentary so we really can give a full assessment on on this theory I have. But I, he's I don't know, yo. Peyton could not overcome the early score as Denver was blown out, forty three to eight. In game 16 of their series, Peyton was serenaded by the Patriot faithful with chants of Brady's better for pretty much the entire <laughs> game. But in this one, they were right. Brady threw four TDs to beat the Colts 43-21. Despite his 400 yard plus day, Manning admitted during the post game, quote, I don't usually stink, but I stop today. Hey, don't be so hard on yourself, yeah. brother. It's not like Tom no. and company went on to Super Bowl 49 and beat the same Seahawks team that crushed you in last year's Super Bowl, landing Tom his fourth Super Bowl title compared to your solo title, right? Actually, that's exactly what happened. Once again, the Patriots are world champions. Manning yeah, stewed for nearly a year until revenge was in the now five-time MVP sights. It would be Brady and Manning's final showdown, fittingly in yet another AFC Championship game. Manning was the star of the game's most unique play, a third quarter scramble for a first down that Manning dubbed the run, in air quotes, might be the most celebrated scramble by a Denver quarterback since John Elway's helicopter ride in Super Bowl 32, 18 years earlier. Oh, his yeah. 17 for 32 performance was far from vintage Manning, but his two most important completions went for touchdowns, enough to beat Brady and the Patriots 20 to 18. Even in the loss, Brady's record against Manning stood supreme. Is that a pole six. But Peyton won out in AFC Championship matchups with a 3 and one record against TV12. In Super Bowl 50, both Denver and Indianapolis fans, and even Tom Brady, hoped to see a storybook finale for Manning. And they got it, with Peyton winning his second Lombardi trophy in his final NFL game. W. Now that you know everything about Brady okay, versus Peyton's Manning, still got his, you can still got his. which quarterback is the true winner. Though, uh, we know Tom Brady. Yeah, yeah we know.